Hi, I'm Dr. Jim Stepani, former senior science editor for Muscle and Fitness, former research fellow at Yale School of Medicine, and owner and formulator of Jim Supplement Science. In this video, I'm going to cover my supplement label reading 101 on protein powders. Now, the first thing you want to look for on your protein powder is the main protein source. Is it just a whey protein or is it a true protein powder blend like my progen? And the reason for this is that the new research shows that while whey is important, it's not enough and you need other types of proteins, particularly slow digesting proteins like casein to truly maximize muscle recovery and growth. So if the protein powder you're looking for is just a whey protein, pass it and look for a blend. Now, if you have any confusion over plant-based protein powders, just know this, they're highly inferior to animal-based proteins like milk protein, including whey and casein, and egg protein. Now, we found a protein powder blend, but is it a true non-proprietary protein powder blend is the question. And that means, do they tell you the exact amount in grams of every protein source that's in the protein powder blend? If we look at using this simple effects panel as a typical protein powder on the market, we can come down here to the ingredients listing. And now in the ingredients listing, they'll list each ingredient based on its concentration, meaning Ingredients that show up first are in higher concentration in the product than ones that show up later, meaning there's more of these ingredients, less of these. And so the first ingredient on the list is the protein blend. So now that's a good sign because it's showing that protein powder is the main ingredient in this product. If you saw something like dextrose right here before the protein, you would know there's a bunch of sugar that's been added and there's more dextrose than protein. But we have protein first, so that's a good sign, but most protein powders list protein first. So protein blend. Now this protein blend is made of a whey protein isolate, micellar casein, a milk protein isolate, and egg albumin. It sounds very similar to my Progen formula. Now, I will note here when we're talking about the whey protein isolate that a protein powder blend is not, not a product that lists here protein and only has whey protein isolate and whey protein concentrate. That's not a protein powder blend. If it doesn't have any casein or uh, milk protein or egg protein, it's not a blend that's just a whey protein. And the expert who's telling you that it's a whey protein blend has no idea what they're talking about. That's just a simple whey protein powder. We have the actual protein sources listed out, but we want to look somewhere else on the label for the amount of each one of these. Now, when you come up to the supplement facts panel, you'll see total protein listed. And here we have 24 grams of protein. Again, very similar to my progen formula. So you might be thinking, well, it's got a similar blend and it's got 24 grams similar to progen. So it's probably a good protein powder. Probably. But do you know how much of the protein powder blend is whey protein isolate? And how much is micellar casein? And how much is egg albumin? You should, because it's important, as you want to make sure you're getting more of certain proteins than other ones. Now, what I show you on my progym label is that I break the protein sources down not only by percentages, but I actually tell you how many grams from each protein source. There should be an additional portion of the supplement facts panel that breaks down those protein sources and not only gives you the percentages of them, but the actual total grams. That way, when you add that up, you can see that it totals the 24 grams of protein in here, meaning it's another safety check to make sure that the 24 grams of protein that's on this bottle is coming from true and complete protein sources, not amino acids, which would mean it's a spiked protein. So let's look back 
at the whiteboard for how do we find a spiked protein powder? Well, it's right in the ingredients listing. Again, you can ignore the big box here and go right down below the white box to find the ingredients listing, right? So what do we have here? We have protein blend, whey protein isolate, micellar casein, milk, protein isolate, egg, albumin. That's our protein blend. But then it lists glycine, taurine, creatine. Do you see these I and E's? That's the tell tell sign. These are amino acids. Even creatine is made from amino acids, so it has that I and E there. Meaning, these ingredients, you might think, oh wow, they added creatine to this protein powder. I'm gonna get extra creatine from this protein powder. That's a great deal. No, it's not a great deal. Why? Because the creatine is adding to the 24 grams of protein. So this isn't 24 grams of protein. This is 24 grams of protein minus however much creatine is in there. If there's a gram of creatine in every serving, that's only 23 grams. But then look, there's also taurine and glycine. Now taurine, you might say, hey, that's a good amino acid, right? Doesn't that give me energy? Well, yes, but taurine is not an amino acid that goes to build muscle. It's not an amino acid that's used as the building blocks to build muscle, meaning it's useless in a protein powder. They just put it in there because it's cheaper than the whey protein. It's cheaper than the casein protein. It's cheaper than the egg protein. But because it has nitrogen on it, and that's the way that they calculate protein, it bumps up the protein content. So when you look at this 24 grams of protein and you see amino acids listed, it's not, wow, I get 24 grams of protein plus these amino acids. No, these amino acids are part of that 24 grams, meaning you don't know how much true protein you're getting. And in some cases, it's less than 50%. So in a nutshell, that's how to read a protein powder label. That way you can tell what the proper protein source is, making sure that it's a true blend, making sure that it's a true non-proprietary protein blend. And the last thing is making sure it's not spiked by making sure there's no amino acids that are added to this ingredient profile. So you could follow those rules for buying a protein powder or make it easy by the one that I made for you. Pro Gym guys, as always, stay gym, army, smart.